Come on, wake it up, wake it up, boy. You already know it's deep talk. Hey, y'all look, man, we know it's a lot in the media, in the news, about Diddy, you feel me, doing all these freak offs, you know what I'm saying, as academics would say. You feel me? Um, we know about all that, you know what I'm saying, stories, whether it's true, you know what I'm saying, false, whatever the case may be. Look, motherfuckers really got to just identify in their lifetime when they be coming across these freaky ass people like this. Feel me? Because you don't just see these type of traits <clears throat> when somebody like, you've been knowing somebody and they like 40 some years old. No, you see this shit in elementary school, junior high. You feel those type of vibes. I got homies, friends. I say it like they like do some type of shit they shouldn't do with like, you know what I'm saying? Like try to rape a motherfucker, nothing like that. But they got too much of a freakily horny, horny man type of vibe. Hell no. It's just certain shit. And you got to watch people like that. You feel me? Like for real. I remember one time we was at, like, I'm going to give you an example. I remember one time we was at like a little, you know what I'm saying? We was at like a little, a little lounge area, you know what I'm saying? Me and my boy. He getting at it. He getting at another female. I already could feel his vibes and how he's looking at her and how he's talking to me about it. Like, damn, this fool wants to chomp her up. Like his mental state and how his eye and how he's talking. I could tell this like it's spiritual with him. This nigga done went into another realm with it. You feel what I'm saying? Look, he sits there. Her dude is here to her husband. This nigga sits there. He gets in the front of the lounge while she's up there performing. He sits back on the couch, got his, got his pants hyped up. He's dead center. Her homegirl sitting right next to him. Her, I look over. I'm on the other couch. I'm sitting back. When I look over, I could tell her homegirl sitting right there. She, everybody could pick up on the energy. I'm like, the freaking league energy. I was like, this nigga's a fool. He's a fool because there ain't no way, no matter what, if I'm talking to a female, if I'm interested in her or what, I'm not going to do nothing like no type of gestures where I'm hiking up my shorts or anything while, while she's up there performing. I'm sitting there just looking at her while she on stage and shit, you know what I'm saying, doing what she do. I'm not going to perform those type of acts, but some niggas will. This is the freaky ass type of trait. You got to know her, the, her homegirl that was sitting down next to my nigga. She was sitting there. She didn't even want to look at my nigga because she already felt his legs open and how he was just up there. Post, I'm like, nigga, the energy. I'm like, this, this bitch husband going to kill you, nigga. Like, the energy, nigga, we all can feel it. If I can feel it, you feel me? Nigga, my girl can feel it. It's all type of shit. We all can feel this type of energy? No. See, so that's what I'm saying. Now, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's wrong or right, I don't know. But what I'm saying is that I wouldn't go into the gesture. That's just me. I wouldn't go into the role playing of doing nothing like that. That's not, that's not, that's, that's not me. But that's some nigga style. And you beat this type of shit. I remember in elementary school. I done seen it. Another nigga named OJ, I'll never forget. I wonder where that nigga at right now. That nigga OJ Lavelle. He was crazy as a motherfucker. Looked like Sean Kemp. He was a freaky nigga too. He would sit there and he had them little chin hairs growing. Nigga in junior high, he be and he be looking at her bra and how he be saying and how he be smirking at her. And any type of comments that he's gonna say to the female, it's gonna be wrapped around some sexual nasty ass shit. You feel me? He's talking about songs. He's He's singing two live crew to the bitches at in middle school. You feel me? He's always going to be doing some type of acts like this. And this is where it starts. So all this shit with Diddy, you feel me? Come on, man. Motherfuckers can't tell me. They've been around this, these type of people. They know what's going on. You can't hide it. I don't care. That freaky G motherfuckers guy, you can't hide it. And I said there's nothing wrong. If you ain't doing nothing, if you're not forcibly doing nothing wrong to somebody, you feel what I'm saying? But the vibes of that type of activity, and y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all let me in the <laughs> know in the comments. Cause y'all, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. Y'all got some people, man. That's man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You feel me? 
What and let's, let's give like another example of these type of these type of traits. Like when you had these type, like you were like the you can hear it in the voice. It's all in the eye. It's the gestures. It, it's, it's the things that they will overly do to get the woman's attention. You feel me? Over and over again. It's and it will be like non-stop. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. Like, I'm like, why, why that shit was like I'm telling you, I'll never forget that. And I'm sitting here like, damn. Or I look over the couch, this nigga legs, this nigga legs open looking like he 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 slumped all the way in the couch, like he get ready to slide off the motherfucker. I'm like, this fool, he's man, he fit, man, he fit, get us fucked up in here, man. He just <laughs> Freaky ass dudes. So yeah, those type of traits, man. When you around those type of motherfuckers like that, I'm telling you, man, that's how the build up is. So you only gotta, you gotta, you gotta imagine now when you get money. You gotta now when you get money. Boy, the freaks come out at night. Cause the freaky desires. Now you can pay for what you actually really want. You feel me? Most niggas right now, they cannot go get the bitch they actually really want. You can go pay for her and her and her and her and her. And we can do, we doing it all. We doing it all. Whatever I want to do is, it's all good. I want to say this nigga, this nigga, this nigga Diddy, this nigga Diddy spike your motherfuckers drinks. Niggas Diddy put XC nigga, cocaine and the best of the best shit too. These niggas with money like this. He getting the best pills. He getting the best coat. This nigga getting, come on, can you imagine? This is what I'm saying. Niggas is, man, these niggas, uh, he, he got them drugs where you ain't even, you ain't even coming down. You ain't even, you ain't even gonna have no fucked up come down. Nigga, your come down gonna be smooth. You gonna be ready to just do some more drugs and just get right back into it. And he take your horny pills. That's why the nigga said, nigga, my name, nigga coming out, nigga, his name is Love. Come on, think about hell no. That right there, nigga, brother love. No, nah, and he always wearing them sunglasses in too, too. I'm just saying, nigga, freaky niggas, you just gotta know them. You either know them or you don't. You feel what I'm saying? You know them and you don't. So that's what I'm saying, man. You motherfuckers better watch your kids and shit. Your sons, you got a little freaky ass, you know what I'm saying? Your sons walking around, you know what I'm saying? You better, nigga, check them. Nigga, nigga, hold on, nigga, come here. Wait, nigga, get over here. You don't be, nigga, Treat a girl like that, or treat her, you know what I'm saying? Got to get on the motherfucker. Because if you, you you find out, you know what I'm saying, you're going to, you know what I'm saying, you know, yeah. Because you know the freaky motherfucker you are. You pass that down to your kids, and next thing you know, you got you got a little JJ growing up. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga hornier than you. <laughs> it's Diesel Talk, boy. Hey, it's Diesel Talk, boy. Hey, man, y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. We just breaking it down, man. We just keeping it real. And we just keeping it all the way real. That's why that nigga, they, that nigga, that nigga, whatever it was, nigga, either 30, 50 million, whatever he settled out with Cassie, nigga, on that lawsuit, nigga, hell no, he was like, nigga, fuck that, nigga. He knows. He knows, she know. Nigga, the real freak shit, nigga. Hell no, this shit can't get out like this. You know what I'm saying? It can't get out. It can't get out. It can't get out. You feel me? Nah, no, niggas fighting niggas to rooms and Oh, this is what I'm saying. All that. It was never with the, nah, man, come on, man. Even when we was young, going to house parties and shit, come on, niggas. Like, oh, man, come on, man. We got the bitch up here in the room. Nah, but I don't get down like that with no freaky shit like that. Y'all niggas is mine. Y'all niggas is doing too much. I'm cool off that. But niggas want to participate in those type of acts. Some niggas can't help themselves. But y'all know the niggas don't be one of them dudes. Trust me, it's diesel talk. I'm gone, boy.